Uh, tell me about upgrades that you could do here. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dead before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. All right, so ship enhancements, probably. Heavy ship armor, I require 15,000 palladium for that. Yeah, the Asari made Solaris armor upgrade. Ooh. So, hopefully we'll, we'll get that. He doesn't want that. And then this is the same as it was. Yeah, that's all the same. Let me know when you want that, Commander. All right, anything else? I think that's it. I want to talk. You know what? Let's ask one more about the upgrades. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the collectors? Like I said, if we don't upgrade the hull on this boat, people will die. I have some lion's favors I can call in if you have the resources. Yeah, stop like doing Let me know the when thing you want that, Commander. With your head. All right, anything I'm new? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? Oh my. They're going to start letting me flirt, are you? Don't be so formal. We're going to try to be nice to my crew. Like my crew deserves me being nice to them because then they'll be more loyal. Maybe. Hopefully. I'm sure there's one or two crew members that are going to be like, no, I love it when they're mean. I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Oh, flirty. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug, too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. All right, tell me about your career highlights. What was your proudest career moment? Well, uh, covered this, didn't we? It was after getting sidelined. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Why wasn't that reported? Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. Let's talk about you joining Cerberus again. Very informal setting right now. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't like their methods? You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. All right, well, I can't be a uh, renegade anymore. I asked too many questions. You're still in top shape. Once again, I'm assuming that she's going to say it flirty. Yeah, you look like you came through no worse for wear. Definitely. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. Most of us didn't get a Cerberus rebuild. They outdid themselves with you. Ask for any upgrades? Wow. Uh, I mean, he's he's just begging to be flirted with here. There's something you'd like to see baby on me, or like, none needed baby, <laughs> or... I was in no shape to ask, which is the only non-flirting option that I see right now. Let's let's stay up top, though. None needed. I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. All right, not as flirty as I anticipated, but we got some more Paragon, so... Less scars, maybe. Yeah, still feel like... Still feel like we could get better weapons. Actually, didn't I just get a new weapon? The Arc Projector, there's now four options. Let's get the Missile Launcher. I want the Missile Launcher. Wait. The Carnifex hand cannon or the Predator. Yeah, we already had the hand cannon, didn't we? All right, so we're good. Oh, I should check uh, Morton here. All right, Morton has the Shuriken machine pistol and the hand cannon. 
Yeah, we'll just leave that as is. All right, fair enough. He's he's like me. We might bring him along instead of Miranda, probably. No <laughs> messages for you, Commander. Thanks, Kelly. All right, let's uh, head to the captain's cabin. Let's see if I can't upgrade this at all. Probably not, but we'll give it a shot. All right, we have the. Well, we still have achievements, but I'm not going to... Yeah, we'll just look at anything that's new. And there's nothing that's new, unless they're, like, deeper in. But I'm not willing to check. Not willing to check. All right, we're glitching out things. Let's just leave. Still no fish. Hey. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. Yeah, we've this heard is this. This Cerberus vessel. Not an alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for peace. Now let's go down to crew quarters. We want to talk to everybody because they have upgrades for the ship that I can deal with now. It's kind of a big deal. Still can't go in there. Still can't go there. Can't go into the bathrooms though. Did we get upgrades? Uh, we need upgrades. We need upgrades there. It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Yeah, Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Not gonna argue with you there. Just hoping for a little bit more. Are you still gonna get mad at me when I'm trying to get uh, some quick looks here? Shepard, the women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Stop bothering me, I'm trying to get a peek. All right, uh, we, we still want to look over here, though. We do want to go back to the medical lab and talk to people. But first, we have to discuss, we have to talk to Mr. Disgusting over here. Nothing, nothing doing. How can I help you, Commander? All right, anything new? No. Wash your hands. Do you have everything you need? If you happen right. to find any of those supplies on the list I gave you. I won't you, take any more of your back time. Back to work. Yeah, same thing. Wash your hands again. Don't make me burn down the whole ship because, like, uh, well, cleaned up the toilet, uh, then uh, made the food that you're eating right now. Didn't really have time to wash my hands in between. Just burn the ship. We're starting over. Let me in. Dr. Chalkwas, you saying you don't like my scars? How may I help you, Commander? Are you th yeah, we've, we've heard that. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. So it looks like the only new stuff is from the actual uh, squad members. So we'll go over and talk to Miranda, who probably has something new to say. Everybody else did. You want an upgrade? You, you need more places to sit? Commander, what can I do for you? Anything here? All right, Normandy status. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well. And the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What do you do here? What exactly are your duties aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. All right, do you need any upgrades? Like a brush, maybe? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. All right, looks like a ship enhancement. She wants an advanced mineral scanner. What does this do? Oh, it'll speed up the plant scanning process, which we have not uh, started using yet, but... Uh, Whenever okay. you have the time and resources, let me know. All right, do you have anything new to say about you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As expected. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. All right, I'm not Cerberus, or this is my operation. Uh, let's go with I'm not Cerberus. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Why should I? What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. 
He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. Cerberus appreciates you. All right, Cerberus protection. Also, I don't know what's going on with the text. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his investments. Like, are we just talking about like investment, like banking, investment banking, or did he like, are we talking like mob investments where you're like, I'll be nice to you today, but I'll call you on, call on you for a favor later. All right, does Cerberus appreciate all the work that you do for them? I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Apparently she's better than that, let's say it. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. That's not what defines you, though. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. All right, I think that. Oh no, we got some more stuff here. Let's talk about your parents. <laughs> Let's talk about your father first, since you brought it up. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus through my father's connections. Okay, self-esteem. I don't know where we're going for here. Talk about yourself like you're just. Yeah, we've, a, we've maybe. Yeah. I like you to are know who you are, Miranda. That's easy for you to say. The difference is right. you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Yeah, we've gone through that. Let's talk about your mom then. You told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. Wait, His but... Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. Mm -hmm. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Uh, okay, so she's not genetically enhanced. She's like genetically engineered. I got the impression that it was just enhancements, but... Uh, okay, so her father's Y chromosome is not in her, right? Right? She's, she's double X, right? Women are, are two X chromosomes. Um, so all of the stuff that he did to improve himself, because they're on the Y chromosome, wouldn't necessarily be in her. I'm confused. Self-esteem, I assume, is the same thing. So we're going to skip that, and we're, we're done here, I guess. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. All right, more Paragon for me. Just a little, little bit, a bit, though. Uh, do I have anything more here? Doesn't look like it. All right, we'll move on. Um, yeah, that conversation confused the hell out of me. So she was, like, created in a lab. She's not, like, created and then enhanced or anything like that. We'll stop by engineering just to see if they have anything new to say around here. Once again, I assume nothing's going to be new down there. I assume there's not going to be too much going on with them. I've got across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. Wow. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. You're such a dog. I didn't say nothing. What can we do for you, Commander? All right. Uh, nope. All right. That looks Carry like on. it. Will do, Commander. Uh, anything if different if I talk to you? Nope. What can we do for you, Commander? All right, we're Carry good. on. Will do, Commander. All right, so he's he's got an attraction to Miranda Lawson. I'm not gonna say I blame him, but it is it is a little weird. 
She's jealous. Just throw that out there right now. That's the reason she's upset. She's jealous. After all, she was genetically engineered, not enhanced or modified, as far as I could tell. But if she doesn't have a mother, then... It was, uh... Kind of cloning, right? It, it would be like genetically engineering a clone. I went the wrong way. This way. All right, so I think we're done here. I think we're ready to move on. We've talked to pretty much everybody. Let's go back to the CIC. And we'll go pretty much back to Omega. There's more work for me to do there. More messages for you, Commander. Yeah, I know, but there's still lots for me to do. All right, so, uh... Right, we, we've read this before. Let's just dock back in Omega. Real quiet, this. Yeah, that's so quiet. All right, so uh, I talked over the first bit, so I'm not going to be able to enhance that one too much, but... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try to make that louder, significantly louder. Last time I did it by, I think, six decibels, and I still could barely hear it, so we'll try to do, like, ten with that one. We'll see. All right, so uh, for this one, I'm going to bring Morden along, and I feel like he could pair well with... You know what? Let's just go with Morden and Miranda for now. I don't think it's technically balanced, but... Uh... No. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we got eight points from Morden. So he's got incinerate, exploding flame damages the health and armor of anyone nearby. Holy crap. Uh, Salarian scientist strengthens Morden's combat skills, weapon damage, health, and shields. I feel like I should go with at least two in Salarian scientist before I move on. And then incinerate sounds really nice. Uh, cryoblast, snap freezes your target. I don't know from here. I need more loyalty to get Neural Shock going. It's kind of weird. He won't use one of his abilities unless he likes me enough. Oh, it's just kind of a weird way to do it. You know what? Let's do Cryoblast. We'll do two in that, too. All right. Should be good. Miranda, you don't have anything. And then I don't have anything either. Used all of that. We're ready to go. Let's go in. Oh, no. Just exit to go in. Yeah, this is for... ...by the quarantine reports. The plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Dr. Solis' assistant has been helping any patients with complications. Excellent. Hmm? Knew he could do it. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Right. But I found somebody. Yeah, he's supposed to show up pretty much as soon as you dock here at Omega. I believe he's supposed to be unmissable, too. Please. No, he's missable. Shut it. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I hear we have a galaxy to save. Yeah, we're gonna ask some questions before I just welcome you aboard. Uh, how much do you know? I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. Who's your friend there? My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please, I didn't do it. I said, shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's next for him? What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. Right, tell me about you and Cerberus. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. That he can. Also didn't expre expect 
I'm detecting like British or Australian accent somewhere around there. Could be South African. All right, but uh, welcome aboard. I expected kind of like Middle Eastern accent to be honest with you. Somewhere in that specific region for Zaid Masani. Welcome aboard though. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No, he didn't. Once again, I'm gonna be, try to be nice to my crew. No, I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. If there's time. We'll get to it if we can. Our mission takes priority. I know you've got bigger fish to fry. That's why I'd like to get this other thing dealt with as soon as possible. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. <laughs> <laughs> 